today's video, I want to talk about fairy loot and whether having my subscription was worth it to me. So hello, my fellow fantasy book lovers, and welcome to my channel. My name is Cathy, and I'm a bookworm from Belgium. When I picked up fantasy reading again a little bit over a year ago, one of the things that I got bombarded with online was advertisement for book subscription boxes such as Illumicrate, Owlcrate, and Fairy Loot. I picked the two of them that were most accessible to me being Illumicrate and Fairy Loot, and I've actually kept my subscription going for an entire year until I wanted to like recap on it and see if it was worth my money or not. There is already a video up on the Illumicrate subscription. If you want to see that, head over here to that video. Now, for Fairy Loot, I got in later than for my Illumicrate. Illumicrate, I immediately got in January of 2023. And then Fairy Loot, I actually only got my first box in February 2023. So I'm going to very quickly just go over the entire list of books that I now have from them. And then I will let you know which ones I would have purchased myself. So when we got started was February 23, The Adventures of Amina al-Sirafi by Shannon Chakraborty. In March, The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. In April, In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. In May, The Curse of Saints by Gate Dramas. In June, Shanghai Immortal by A.G. Shao. In July, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gang. In August, Forged by Blood by Ehibor Okusan. In September, Son of Blood and Ruin by Marielle Lares. In October, The Hurricane Wars by Tia Guanzon. In November, Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. In December, Feybound by Sara El Arifi. And in January 2024, The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. Most of these books I actually wanted to buy myself. So out of all of these, I actually really wanted or have read and really enjoyed The Foxglove King, The Curse of Saints, Shanghai Immortal, Forged by Blood, The Hurricane Wars, Swordcatcher, Feybound, and The City of Stardust. And fun fact, Swordcatcher and The City of Stardust, I actually bought the Waterstone Special Editions as well before I knew that they were in the Fairy Loot box. So that was a nice surprise and now I have both of those books. So that makes eight out of 12 books that I really enjoy and wanted from this box. A few of them have been really big misses. I'm personally not into like pirate type adventures. So I actually sold my copy of The Adventures of Amina El Sirafi. Um, I don't really regret it. It was a beautiful book, but after a year of it just sitting on my shelf, my interest in it hadn't really grown, so I just sold it. Um, and In the Lies of Puppets, I actually sold to a friend of mine who loves TJ Klune's work. And honestly, it felt a little bit more sci-fi-esque than what I personally enjoy to read, so I just, I wasn't really sad to not keep that book. And the other books that I didn't really love, I'm still keeping because maybe one day I will pick them up and if not, I will maybe try and sell them. And if we see that the price for the Fairy Loot adult subscription, because I'm getting the book only adult subscription, is more or less the same as Lumicrate. So I pay around 35 euros every single month to get these books. And honestly, because they're all special editions, I feel like it's well worth it. And I also bought a few books that weren't part of the Fairy Loot subscription. That I got but that were extra. So I got Fourth Wing and Iron Flame and also the Scarlet Veil through Fairy Loot. And I actually also bought a few of the YA books that were included second hand. I got Bonesmith, I got Silver in the Bone and of course the Rebecca Yara's Divine Rivals. And for Fairy Loot they also offered the book only box in the YA version and the box with all of the goodies in the YA version. The adult box however is book only. And then they also offer a combo box box with both the book from the YA and the book from the adult box, which is something that I'm personally considering. And the adult book only subscription is £20 plus shipping and taxes, which for me here in Belgium equals to more or less €35 Euros per box. And one of the things that I enjoy a lot about Fairy Loot is that every single book is the same height. So they work with a set dimension for the height of the book, so if you put them all next to each other, it looks nice and aesthetically pleasing and it personally makes my heart very happy. Also, when you receive your Illumicrate box, every book comes in this book pouch by Illumicrate. It has happy reading on it, 
and their logo and it's just I feel it's such a nice touch to have your book not just in bubble wrap like some other subscription boxes but actually in a nice book pouch and before I got my special padded book covers that is what I would put my books in whenever I was carrying them with me my physical books um, to not get them damaged while reading and something else that you also get with every single book you receive is the info card of the monthly team with a little bit more information about the theming of the month and how it fits with the book and a little bit more information about the book itself which I personally find a really nice touch and also if you want you can use this as your bookmark and you don't need a special bookmark for it and at first that is also what I did and then I started hoarding pretty bookmarks and now of course I use those. <laughs> so for the Illumicrate subscription I think it comes as no surprise that I will be absolutely keeping it. I also really enjoy some of the special editions that they've done. I have ordered my special edition of Fourth Wing and Iron Flame through them already and I'm very much looking forward to what they bring out in the future. As for the shipping of the box, everything always arrives on time for me. I've never had any issues with the shipping times or with there being problems in transit. And whenever I get the shipping notification that the book has left their facilities, it usually takes less than a week for it to actually arrive to my doorstep, which I think is amazing. Should you still have any questions at all about fairy loot, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. If you have the subscription, feel free to let me know what your thoughts are on it. And I'm still really debating if I should get the combined box with the adult and the young adult, because I do seem to like a lot of the young adult books as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!